What's up guys? This is Justin from Real World Strength. I am coming back to you with another mobility tip that you probably have never even thought of. So a few weeks ago, um, I did a video that was surprisingly well received about the masseter muscle. It's your main chompy chomp muscle. Um, I think people just like watching me look silly on camera, so I will do my best to not disappoint. This is the follow-up uh, to that video. So a few days after I posted that, that video, it occurred to me that muscles never act alone, like ever. So for instance, like look at your hips. When you're opening up the hips, like coming out of the bottom of a squat, um, and your glute max is like the main, you know, your butt cheek, that's the main like hip opening muscle. I'm doing this motion with my hands. Uh, it's your main hip opening muscle. Um, but you know, it never fires alone. You've got the other glute muscles in there and then you got your hamstrings, adductors. Um, and you can try to isolate your glutes versus your hamstrings, but that it never really, you can't. You can emphasize one over the other, but they always fire together. So it's the same thing that's going on with your hips and your butt, it's the same thing that's going on with your face. So your masseter, um, that's the main choppy chop muscle, but then you've also got your temporalis. So that's, it's kind of difficult to illustrate exactly where that muscle is, but it's like near that whole thing, like all the way from behind the ear, all the way up to your temple, it kind of like, covers that whole region right there and it goes right down and inserts into your jaw. Um, that's like the hamstring to your masseter's glute max, which would make your masseter like the butt cheek of your face cheek. Just don't think about it too much, it, it, it works. So as far as the temporalis goes, I will cover the masseter in depth last week. So for the temporalis, we're gonna talk about how to poke it and smash it a little bit um, and how to stretch it and hopefully I won't look too ridiculous this time. So for poking the temporalis, we can, or smashing, whatever, um, you can use your fingers or you can use a ball. Um, I like using them both. They, they both work for different reasons. This kind of gives more of like a steamrolly effect and this is more like an acupressure kind of thing. So um, how it works, take your fingers, find a spot that feels kind of gnarly, rest your head on it, like so, and then kind of work your way around you know, all the way down to that, this bone right there is called the zygomatic arch. It's kind of like the border between temporalis town and masseter city, and go with that. <laughs> so kind of work your way around, um, relax your head as much as you can, and you notice my eyes are closed because this does not feel pleasant. Um, and again, kind of work your way around. With the ball, same idea, hold the ball, and kind of rest your head onto it, and then we can slowly kind of roll the ball back and forth all the way up to like the top of the ear, which we can pull the ear out of the way if you want, ow. And, <laughs> and a steamroll back this way, find a spot that's gnarly, hang out there and then make like weird kind of facial expressions to kind of like stretch out all the little fascial pockets around there. Oh, that's mm, interesting. Oh, wonderful. Ah, so that's poking and smashing the temporalis. Now as far as stretching goes, so I covered stretching the masseter uh, last, last video, and that's where you just you know, pull the jaw, tilt the head back, pull the jaw down, um, and you know, try not to look too ridiculous. With the temporalis, it's kind of similar, except we're gonna tie in tilting the head, which is also gonna stretch out a bunch of muscles um, throughout the top of the neck. All these things are they're kind of linked up, um, just near, all the way up around the head. So um, it's gonna hit all the muscles that could potentially cause you headache and toothache or whatever problems all at once. So how it works, I'm going to again tilt the head back, pull the jaw down, I ho, and ah, and tilt the head to one side. Oh wow, all of that, not pleasant. Hmm. Now this side feels great, so I'll do the other side. So anyway, that's stretching the temporalis. Um, and one uh, key point on that, when you're pulling jaw straight down and tilting the head, if you keep pulling the jaw like kind of counter to its hingy motion, um, you're gonna kind of piss off the ligaments that hold your, your jaw in place. So make sure that you're pulling the jaw straight down like away from the top of your head, like so, and not like, ah, because that's gonna jack everything up. So anyway, that is my tip on the temporalis. The, it is part two of Chompy Chomp. And uh, have fun with that. Leave a, lead a happier and healthier lifestyle for it. And we'll see you next time.